Yeah, Abby and Evan, if you look at the pond out here, you can see that the edges here are frozen. But as you look more towards the middle, that isn't frozen. Now we went to find out why that is and what dangers it could bring. We know it is an enticing playground to play ice hockey, to s skate around, to slide around, but it's just not worth risking your life over. Frozen ponds across the metro becoming a snow day activity for some, but the fire department says the curiosity isn't worth the gamble. You just do not know when it's going to crack, when it's going to bust, or when you're going to fall through. They say the freezing water can even be deadly. A lot of times people will see our ponds and our lakes freeze first along the edges rather than the center. And a big reason for that is because the edges, they're so much shallower. So we see that ice able to form at the top first and the middle of the lakes and our ponds, they're deeper. So it's going to just take longer for that colder water and that ice to really form into the middle. KOCO meteorologist Sabrina Bates says on average, it takes four consecutive days below freezing for ice to form and ponds can be deceptive. While you might think it's frozen, ice is going to form differently in all areas of the lake and pond. So someone may actually measure an area that's thick enough and then they move a few feet away and it's going to be a lot thinner. It may only be frozen in one spot. A lot of people may notice they walk near Lake Hefner, Lake Overholzer, and they'll notice sort of waves and ripples into the currents and that'll actually prevent ice from forming in those areas and that's why a lot of times we'll see local neighborhood ponds freeze first too. Not only are they shallower, but there's no ripples, there's no current, so the water's still enough to start to get that ice to form on the edges and then into the center. Now our meteorologists say that it takes at least four inches of ice before it's safe to put pressure on it, but they say that only a professional can measure the depth in a pond or a lake like this one.